All right, um, welcome to my All the Mods 9 world. And in this video, I want to make a reply to the video of the green machine. Uh, he made a video about automating mine colonies and refined storage so that the requests from mine colonies are automatically put into the warehouse and you no longer have to babysit the builder to make sure a build gets completed. Uh, I followed his video and I ran into a few issues which are not made clear from the video um, as being very important. So the first issue I had is that items failed and that the system did not put anything into um, my colony even though it uh, said that it found all the necessary items. So if I turn it on, I um, execute the command warehouse. It finds all the four items, so the monitor, the RS bridge, the colony integrator and the storage. And then it should work. Um, but if you set these up in a different way, it will find all of them and it will still not work. And the important thing in the code that it runs here is that it's looking for a storage um, medium to the left of the computer. So that means the warehouse or the entangled block connected to the warehouse needs to be to the left. Uh, the other items do not matter that much. I think the RS bridge and the colony integrator can be placed anywhere you like. Of course, you don't need the colony integrator entangled if it's uh, somewhere else inside your colony, I think. Uh, so if this set setup is inside your colony. Uh, then here is an external storage. And I think one of the major problems I had is that I connected this thing through a uh, network transmitter. So I first tried to use a network transmitter to set up these connections and it just could not find the items. So first I would recommend is to set it up using a cable if at all possible. And well, then the second issue was that it kept putting uh, entirely random items into the warehouse. So if I look into my storage system, I have a lot of essence stuff and that just got put into the warehouse. And I don't know what exactly fixed it, but I, I had my entire warehouse full. And what I just did is I made sure I put an importer here and imported all the stuff into my system. And after that, I gave it another try and it worked again. Um, so that is also something uh, that you can try if it does not work. Uh, also for the code, there's a fix for the code that you have to do. Um, that is uh, also what, something I did. So line 264, I changed uh, uh, the typo there uh, to something else. So those are the, the main changes I did. Um, now for the functionality of the system, it will put in items that you have in your uh, refined storage system, but it will not make craft requests. So you still have to um, craft the items with the system. And what I did here is I just uh, checked to see which items were not available. I made a pattern and I crafted like a thousand of them. Uh, so the builder has enough. And once you've done that, I think uh, most of these special items, such as the purple blocks and stairs, uh, they're not that common. So if you have a thousand of them, it should be fine for most of your builds. One issue though, is that if the system finds an item that's unavailable, it will not continue with the rest. So for example, if the sea lanterns are now unavailable um, and there's still other items it needs, it will not put the, the other items that it has uh, into the uh, warehouse block. So every time you make an upgrade and it's not an upgrade you already did before. Um, so except for example, I have a builder level five here and I make another builder level five there. Uh, most of the items are already in my storage system because I made them for this builder already. Uh, but just keep that in mind to uh, sometimes check here if there's any items that have uh, failed to be uh, gained from the system, uh, then it can get stuck. Uh, so in summary, make sure that the entangled warehouse block is to the left of the computer. Make sure that the entire computer system is wired up via a cable, not via a transmitter. And if you get the bug where it keeps just putting random items into the warehouse, uh, just empty it, restart the whole thing and try again. Um, and hopefully that fixes it. If anybody knows how to make sure that the colony can also make crafting requests, that would be very nice. And also for me, I don't get the colors here. So maybe I'm running the wrong script. So if anybody knows that, uh, please let me know. And I hope this video helps you out. Have a nice day. Bye bye.